Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do 25 maths questions for grade 3. These are very important questions and they are in the form of multiple choice questions. So let's start. There are 25 questions in this quiz and answer will be displayed 10 seconds after each question. If all your answers are correct, it means you are excellent. If you score from 24 to 22, it means you are very good. If your score is from 21 to 19, it means you have done good work. But if you score less than 19, it means you need practice. So question 1 is, what is the successor of this given number? Here are the options given to you. Read the options carefully. And your time is up. Answer is option A. 45635 is the successor of this given number. Successor means the next number of this number. So next number of 45634 is 45635. Write the smallest three digit number using digits 1, 6, 2 only once. Here are the options. You have to form the smallest three digit number without repeating the given digits. Answer is 1, 2, 6. Right? 5463 plus dash equals to 5471. So, what should be added to 5463? So, we get the answer as 5471. Answer is 8. 5463 plus 8 equals to 5471. 302 plus 16 plus 2012 equals to 16 plus dash plus 2012. So, which number should come here in the blank? Yes, answer is 302. 68791 minus 45023 has which digit at thousands place? So, solve this subtraction and tell the digit at thousands place in that answer. Answer is 3. Students, if you solve these two numbers, you will get the answer as 23768. And the digit at thousands place will be 3. 5480 less than 5495 minus dash. So, what should be subtracted out of these options? So, that our equation remains this. Yes, 10. 5495 minus 10. 234 into 678 into dash equals to 678 into 54 into 234. So, what should be written here in this blank? Yes, answer is 54. What number can be multiplied by 6875 to give the answer as 6875? Answer is 1. If we multiply any number by 1, we get the product as the number itself. 0 divided by 45 equals to dash. Here are the options 0, 45, 1 or none of these. Yes, answer is 0. Dash divided by 22 equals to 20 quotient and 20 remainder. So, what should be the number here? 
which on division by 22 will give you this 20 quotient and 20 remainder. Answer is 460. Students, we have covered the entire syllabus of maths for class 3 on our channel Learning Notebook. So, if you have any doubt in any of the topic of maths, do refer to our channel Learning Notebook. Here, fraction of A in this string is dash. So, here we are given with this string A, 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 G, H. So, what is the fraction of A here? Answer is 5 by 7. 18 by 12 equals to dash by 30. Options 50, 45, 60 or 21. Answer is 45. These are equivalent fractions. If today is Sunday, then what will be day after tomorrow? Options Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday or Saturday. Answer is Tuesday because if today is Sunday, then tomorrow will be Monday and next day after tomorrow will be Tuesday. How many hours and minutes are there from quarter past 6 to half past 8? Here are the options given to you. Quarter past 6, it means 6.15 and half past 8 means 8.30. So, we have to calculate the hours and minutes from 6.15 to 8.30. You will get 2 hours and 15 minutes. Which unit you would choose to measure the height of a table? Options millimeter, kilometer, centimeter or just meter. Answer is centimeter. 50 meter and 50 centimeter equals to dash centimeter. So, to solve this question, you should know the chapter measurement. Converting meter and centimeter into centimeters. Answer is 5050. 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters. Right? So, 50 meters equals to 15 to 100, that means 5000 centimeters. And then 5000 plus 50 equals to 5050 centimeters. 20 kilogram and 400 grams equals to dash grams. How to convert kilograms and grams into grams? Answer is 20,400. Why? Because we know 1 kilogram equals to 1,000 grams. So, 20 kilogram will be equal to 20,000 grams. And then add 400 grams to it. We get the answer as 20,400 grams. If one bottle weighs 250 grams, then 9 such bottles will weigh these are the options given to you. And answer is 2 kilogram 250 grams. Because if we multiply 250 by 9, we will get 2250 grams, which is equals to 2 kilogram 250 grams. Next question. 40 liters, 30 milliliter equals to how many milliliters? Here are the options given to you. So, you have to convert liters and milliliters into milliliters. Answer is 40,030 because we know 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliter. 
So, 40,030 is the answer. There are 45,009 men, 42,008 women and 35,030 children in a town. So, what is the population of this town? Answer is option B. How would you calculate this? You will just add these three numbers and you will get the answer as 1,22,047. Next, a bookstore has 36,000 books, 5,500 books were sold in the first month and another 6,500 sold in the second month. So, how many books are left in the bookstore? Answer is 24,000 books are left in the bookstore. So, how will you solve this? First, you will add total number of books sold in both the months. So, 5500 plus 6500 equals to 12,000. And now we will subtract 12,000 from 36,000. We will get the answer as 24,000. A bus can carry 52 passengers. How many passengers 50 such buses can carry? Answer is 2600. You will multiply 52 by 50 and you will get your answer as 2600. If in a school one classroom can have 45 students, how many classes are required to accommodate 2700 students? Answer is 60. We will divide 2700 by 45 and we will get the answer as 60. Next, Myra is 7, Rahul is 4 years old than Myra and 5 years younger than Anita. How old is Anita? Answer is 16. How? Here we are given with Myra's age as 7 years and Rahul is 4 years older than Myra. So it means Rahul's age will be 7 plus 4 which is equals to 11. Now Rahul is 5 years younger than Anita. So Anita's age will be 11 plus 5 equals to 16 years. What number should be subtracted from smallest four digit number to give largest three digit number as the answer? Answer is 1. Smallest four digit number is? Tell me. 1000 and largest three digit number is 999. So, we just need to subtract 1 from 1000 to get the largest three digit number which is 999. So, students these were the 25 maths questions which are very important for class 3. Make sure you practice them all. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.